Hello guys, Merry Christmas, very very soon and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial and my name is Johnny, this is Johnny Time and today we're gonna talk about Astroport protocol, the upcoming new protocol that's gonna launch very very soon in Terra ecosystem, it's super exciting and super interesting and today we'll learn what Astroport protocol is and what I think about the future of this project. So if it's something that might interest you and if you want to become DeFi masters here with me in Johnny Time, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post these kind of interesting videos you can watch them while they are hot. Also you can join my Discord community where we discuss about interesting projects, interesting yield farms, stable coins, gaming, NFTs, etc. So the link will be in the description below. If you want, just join, subscribe, click the bell notification button. Now let's get started. So Astropod Protocol is it's an upcoming protocol on the Terra Luna ecosystem. If you are following the crypto markets recently, you can see that Terra is rising and getting and breaking all time highs over and over again, even though the market itself is not very exciting. And Astropod is an AMM. AMM stands for Automated Market Maker. So it's basically very similar to Uniswap or SushiSwap or PunkSwap. A DEX, decentralized exchange and automatic market maker where people can provide liquidity and on the other side people can swap tokens and exchange tokens. So it's a new AMM that's going to be built on Terra. Uh, there are Astro tokens that are not live yet so if you see people are offering you to get or get free or claim or buy Astro tokens it's probably a scam because they are not live yet. And the Twitter is operated by Del Delphi Labs Actually, not only the Twitter, they are part of Delphi Labs, which is an, a very strong and powerful incubation in the term of DeFi and the DeFi space and crypto space. This is uh, Delphi Labs. You can see the success stories. They helped Axie Infinity. They helped Aave protocols. Now let's go to the main page of Astropod and try to understand a bit more how it what it is. Astropod, the future of trading. You can see a very nice infographic or kind of graphic here. You have add liquidity button. Hovering above the Terra ecosystem, Astropod is a neutral marketplace where anyone from anywhere in the galaxy can dock to trade their wares. Decentralized, permissionless and open source, Astropod marketplace is public good governed by its community. So there is an Astropo, Astro token, the, this kind of thing that you can see right here, the token holders, which will reserve, which will be a governance token. So the community, the governance, the DAO can decide of what's going on in the protocol itself. Let's scroll a bit down. So it's programmer liquidity. It's all new Rust code. So as you know, the programming language in the Terra ecosystem is very similar to Solana. It's Rust. It's not Solidity like Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, etc. or Binance Merchant. It's Rust code. They have Oracle integration on Terra ecosystem, easy DAP integration. So it will be very easy to, to integrate the liquidity in different DApps. So let's say there is a different, another decentralized application on Terra that want to utilize the liquidity that Astropod has it will be super easy and simple for them to integrate to those kind of liquidity pool tokens and liquidity pools. The next, so it's a DEX, of course it's going to be a DEX. It's supposed to two liquidity pool types, Uniswap constant product formula pools and Curve stable swap invariant formula pool. So if you're familiar with Uniswap, it's the biggest and first decentralized exchange on an AMM, automated market maker on Ethereum. They have the V2 and the V3, which V3 lets you utilize more of the liquidity, which is better. And you, we have Curve Finance, Curve, which is a stablecoin uh, liquidity and swap platform. So it lets you swap stable coins very easily. So they take the best of this kind of two projects, Uniswap and Curve, and implement it in Rust code in Terra ecosystem, which is cool. It's backward compatible with TerraSwap message formats and features and next generation user interface. So they also support TerraSwap and the liquidity that TerraSwap has. This is TerraSwap, by the way, if you are not familiar with. This is the biggest liquidity holder on Terra and you can verify it right here. Not the biggest, but this is DeFi Llama. You can see all the ecosystem of Terra. You can see that we don't have that many protocols in Terra Luna and I think that the more time pass we'll see more protocols like Astropod that does not exist in the list but you can see here that we have Anchor which is the saving protocol. I have another video about Anchor so if you're interested about what Anchor is check out the description below. I'll put link for Anchor. You have a leader. We have TerraSwap which is what I just showed you um, right here. This is TerraSwap so it's similar to, to uh, Uniswap and actually yeah, it's like it looks like there is a lack of uh, 
applications, decent applications on Terra ecosystem. And that's why I'm excited about Astroport, which is uh, bringing a lot of features from uh, the EVM compatible chains into Terra. And it might be the largest. They want to be the largest automated market maker and DEX on Terra. This is their goal. And we don't have that much competition. We have TerraSwap and look, TerraSwap doesn't have uh, liquidity mining and it doesn't ha they don't have NFT marketplace or other things. So I think they can actually landing, for example, so they can be a very big like DEX on uh, Terra. Uh, this is my opinion. You can see there is Mio here, Pylon Protocol, Spectrum and Loop Finance, which, which is their competitor. This is Loop Finance, by the way, if you know what, if, if, you, um, if you will follow my channel, I'll post another video about Loop Finance in the future. So stay tuned, click the subscribe and the bell notification button. So when I post the tutorial about a uh, Loop, Loop markets, you will see, and you can compare it to Astropod, but this is actually live already, and it exists, and it's very, very nice project, Loop markets, a DeFi project on Terra. So it will be their main competitor, and Astropod is gonna be somewhere here. They want to be the, the best ones, they want to be the top, but we'll see how it is. So let's go back to the website, let's see what they offer here. Where traders and liquidity pool uh, meet, the marketplace never closes on Astroport. Anyone can set up a merchant stall by supplying liquidity in one of three pools. Then anyone else can trade against those tokens at any time. So this is nothing new, you know, providing liquidity trading tokens. L liquidity providers earn fees at an at launch. They can provide liquidity to earn Astro too. Since all the Astroport's liquidity lives in smart contracts, it's programmable. Again, this is a concept that we're familiar with. So uh, liquidity providers earn fees based on trading fees and volumes that Astroport has. And they said that in addition, if you provide liquidity, you will earn some Astro tokens in the launch, in the beginning, but uh, as time passes, they will probably bring, give less Astro, Astro tokens in order to um, avoid uh, inflation for the token. Other Terra-based dApps can integrate Astropod liquidity directly into their platforms. That means traders through the entire Terra ecosystem always have access to your liquidity. So they utilize the liquidity, they bring some kind of API or access to other dApps on a Terra ecosystem. So your liquidity will always be used in other apps, which means that there will be more trading volumes and you as a liquidity provider will earn more fees, which is cool. Astropod brings liquidity to Terra tokens from all parts of the galaxy. Okay, so this is Astropod. It looks nice. It looks interesting. This is their Twitter page. They have already 41,000 followers. Uh, they have also a Telegram group. They have a Discord channel. Yeah. So if you want to learn more about Astropod, you can join their Discord channel to the Telegram group to see the announcement, follow the Twitter page. And they have also the light paper. If you want to get more in depth of what's going to be in Astroport, the link exists right here on the website, learn more. We're not gonna go through all the light paper because it will take too much time and I don't want to consume your time. I want just to give you the highlights and the most interesting and important things about Astropod protocol so you can get a, a basically to know this protocol and decide if you want to invest in Astro tokens or participate in the protocol itself. Um, they have the, in the medium, they have a lot of other articles as well. And this is Astropod, so it's going to be the competitor of TerraSwap. A lot of liquidity is going to move from TerraSwap and from Loop Markets to Astropod Protocol when it's going to be launched. It's not live yet, but if you click right here, you can see that they are preparing to launch and actually there is an airdrop, an upcoming Astroport airdrop uh, that's going to uh, be actually in the following week and the launch is going to be in 28 December. So I don't want to explain how to participate in the air, in the airdrop right now in this video because it's quite getting longish. So I'll post another video. So again, subscribe and click the bell notification button. Probably today or tomorrow a new video about how to participate in the airdrop and get Astro tokens and how the phases are going to work because it's too complicated for one video. There is phase one, phase two and phase three. And I will post another video where I'll explain every single phase and how to participate in order to win Astro tokens that might uh, worth a lot of money in the future. Depends on the protocol if it's going to be successful, but it looks, in my opinion, a very promising protocol. Uh, in addition to the fact that there are not that many competitors in Terra Luna ecosystem, you have TerraSwap and Loop as the main competitors, and Terra Luna ecosystem is an ecosystem that is growing, a blockchain that is growing. If you look at the TVL, it's always going up. The Luna token is skyrocketing. So I think that this protocol has a lot of future and it looks very serious. And the next video is going to be about how 
how to participate in the airdrop and potentially, not potentially, you're gonna earn some Astro tokens that we don't know what their price will be in the future, but they might worth a lot of money. So this is the tutorial about Astro, Astro port, uh, protocol. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or better, join the Discord community and you can access uh, me there and DM me directly if you want, or we can discuss together and we build some kind of community that help and learn from each other. And thank you so much. And if you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe and click the bell notification button. So anytime I post these kind of videos, you can watch them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for learning with me and have a Merry Christmas. Bye bye.